Hey, Troops is worth for the Geeks Adventures. Woohoo! So the year is almost over. Um, you know, the last bits of figures coming out and stuff. You know, those last kind of like, come on, you said December was going to be released, right? And then you know, we were waiting for all sorts of stuff to come through. Well, one of the things that McFarlane Toys talked about and was kind of a surprise because, you know, a lot of us have been waiting for, you know, really unique characters to come out. And, you know, every once in a while we've gotten a couple things pop out here and there. But a really big surprise was this one. Harkens back to my day, to the 80s for me, is the McFarlane Toys Captain Carrot figure. Yeah, Captain Carrot. Uh, uh, and you're going, no. Yeah. <laughs> and not only a figure, but a collector edition on top of that. Um, the good news is, honestly, it is one of the most pleasant, amazing surprises this year. Um, this is the figure, as you recall from the early releases, in the box. Yes! It's a giant rabbit in a superhero suit. I know, right now you're going, are you out of your mind? Now, okay, here's the deal. Comic book came out, what, in the 80s, I think? Yeah, in the 80s. You know, it's one of those goofy, silly things. Alternate universe blah, 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 blah. Did Superman actually make an appearance in this thing or something? I don't know. But anyway, um, superhero planet. You know, it's a planet with all animals, yada, yada, yada. One of them gets super powered, I think because of a meteorite or something. Becomes Captain Carrot. And you're still going... Is there a reason why I should keep watching this? Be patient. So, this is it in the box. And, of course, we got the, um... Now, what the deal is with the Justice League Incarnate, I have no idea. Um, but there we go. And here's the other side, of course. And here is the box art. Now, you're also thinking, Wait a minute, that looks like a pretty big figure. Now, uh, like, basically, kind of like Superman, except in, except in bunny wrap form. Now, I know, just warning you ahead, as always, poops in the slot. So, you know, you kind of, you know, just be wary of that when you get it out of the, out of the, out of the tray. What does he come with? Um, of course, the obligatory, ooh, stand, and card holder couple extra hands, but the coolest, honestly, the coolest part, you got a flight stand! Yes! Which is very appropriate for this figure. And you're still thinking, how big was that thing? Um, pretty big. This is him. Um, you know, when I first thought about getting him, it was purely nostalgia purposes, because, you know, harkens back to when I was in high school, and yada, yada, yada. Was a funny, goofy character, etc., etc. I got this out of the box, and it is a beautiful figure. Um, and of course, in the comic book, it's all kind of cartoonish, yada, yada, yada. Um, this is literally Superman... If you tried to kind of, you know, transpose him into a realm with Bugs Bunny and animals and junk. Um, but, I mean, look at this thing. Um, you know, the, the, the trademark five tons articulation, blah, 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 blah. I mean, like in the costume, this is the figures mostly a fresh mold, a fresh sculpt. Um, like the uniform here. I mean, look. You got the carrots, guys. Got the carrot, get it? Bunny, get it? Yeah, it's not that funny, but I mean, hey. but I mean, look at this. I mean, the work they put into this is beautiful. Look at the gauntlets of the carrots on it. <laughs> All this stuff. The feet and the toes are ticking up and down. Um, <laughs> you got bunny tail. Um, oh, but one of the really cool things in articulation. 
Let's move. Ah, ah, ah. I mean, it look, it's a beautiful figure. I mean, in a, you, you want a snicker color? Like, <laughs> Superman is a bunny. Um, but it's beautifully done. All that articulation. I mean, you can even see here the texturing in the costume. So, and it gives a little extra oomph. Um, and then you got the kind of fierce look on his face. The whole, you know, the, 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 the funky, you know, no eyeballs look. All that stuff. Um, full art. I mean, it's beautiful. And this is Mercy. The first Build-A-Figure that McFarlane did. And this is Captain Carrot. This thing's big. <laughs> okay. So I was like, bonk. <laughs> um, now, yes, it is a collector edition thing. Now you're paying extra for the little standy and junk. Um, eh, it is what it is. Um, but, Honestly, it's a beautiful figure. There is, from what I understand, a platinum edition as well, where the, the colors on the costume are closer to the way they were in the comic book. Like, I believe the trunks are green and a couple other things. There are actually, like, eyes in the um, in the mask. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, so, you know, those details have been added if you want a really more comic book accurate figure. Um, but this is... I, I mean, seriously, when I... And I, I remember hearing about, you know, saw the releases and going, well, you're definitely doing it. You, you definitely doing a figure that's actually literally, I don't, I don't think anyone's ever did a, um, a Captain Carrot figure. Let's be honest. I mean, why? If you're going to make it like this, yes. Um, it's a beautiful piece of work. This easily could have been. In, uh, just a throwaway, but they did a magnificent job on this figure. Um, the sculpting, I mean, you know, the, 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 the articulation, you know, you know, you expect all that, but the sculpt on this it is a beautiful, magnificent piece of work. Um, I got this from the McFarlane site itself directly. Um, so I imagine it should start, you know, making, making appearances at all your favorite shops or whatever. So just keep your eyes open. Um, but yeah, I am so glad I got, I mean, I got this for the heck of it. And I'm like, you know, there's gotta be something, you know, a new fresh thing. This is just beautiful. So you know what? If you get a chance, get it. It is very cool. So anyway, there you go. Um, hey, y'all take care. May you enjoy the rest of the holidays as New Year's is creeping up. Um, may the force be with you. May the odds be in your favor, especially if your college football team is having a lot of its players come and go through the transfer portal. Um, as always, be good to each other. Okay, peeps, y'all take care. Peace. Bye. Whoosh. Bye.